Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I don't know if that if that you, Ills. I, I don't know who, who spoke. Wherever it was. Thanks. Ah, Doreen. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. So I'm going to just repeat that like I did last night because I forget to record it. We're going to be talking about change and why we why it's so hard sometimes for us to change. Why we hold on to a life or a behaviour that really doesn't suit us anymore. Um, and that's what we're going to be looking at tonight. And, and we're going to eliminate any kind of fear around it. Because it happens throughout our life. And sometimes it's big change. You know, you might have had, as a child, you might have had your parents split up. Or you might have had to be moved from one school to another, leave your friends behind. So there are times in our life when we kind of experience negative emotions from, from the changes we have to make. And some of those things, at the, in those points in time, we make decisions about it. I never want to feel like this again. And remind me, I never want to feel like it again. And if in that moment you make that decision, even though you've evolved, and I've been saying this for days now, even though you've evolved as a person, you know more now than you did when you made that decision, there's still that kind of, that the, the template that you set at that point in time is still going, yeah, but don't do it, don't do it. And really this whole group that we're working on, creating your own body, and creating the body you want, the health you want, the happiness you want. To do that, we all have to change because otherwise we wouldn't be able to do it because we've been living how we've been living for a period of time. And as I've been saying, we've got some great people around us helping us physically to get, get ourselves into shape and helping us mentally to get in shape and, and energetically how to get into shape. And I'm learning because, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, it's always a bit kind of, I don't know, kind of close to the idea of, of energy. And especially when um, Helena last night was talking about being a proxy for, for creating something within ourselves or creating an energy within ourselves that can move someone or affect someone on the other side of the planet. And I've always doubted that, that and I've always been a kind of bit sceptical about it. But... As we get into this, as I meet more and more people who are doing this work, Sandra was talking about it this evening. Um, when I speak to Gaylene, she's talking about energy. And I know that, you know, we can affect each other through that energy. And so, but it's a, still a big thing to say, I'm going to leave my life as it is in here, and I'm going to move to this life here. Because you're stepping out of your comfort zone. And it's easier to stay safe it's easier to stay in your comfort zone than to make those big changes so tonight what we're going to do we're going to look at it and it might not be that you that it's a problem for you or if it may be that you haven't really recognized it as a problem but we do have to ask ourselves why have we lived like we've been living for so long if you've been overweight for a period of time and i'm, and I'm talking maybe years you've got to ask why why is that why has that happened and why haven't you changed when you know in your heart that you really don't want to feel the way you've been feeling and then ask that question is it because you're afraid of change because tonight we are going to eliminate all of those irrational fears about changing by now we've been together now for a couple of weeks and we've looked at all these different ways of, of creating a life we want creating the body we want and you now have some, some more tools to work on that. You know, we have people putting recipes on the, on, our, on the Facebook group. We have other ways of looking at it. You know, instead of my beans on toast, I can now see you know, other meals to eat. And so we have more opportunity. We have um, people like Helena. We've had some great presenters talking, Sandra today. You know, you've had, you've had me with my limited ability to help you go into hypnosis and change your own life. But we now have some new tools. So we shouldn't, there should be no reason why we can't change our life, our body, our mind, and the way we feel. There is no reason. We have all the tools we need. And it comes back to the question that Sandra was asking. What has to happen for you to love yourself enough? to treat yourself to the body you want, to the health you want, to the life you want. And what's stopping that? And I know because I'm, 
I'm in, I'm a human being and I, I have my family around me and all those kind of things. What in my book I call the matrix of life. We can't just sometimes say, okay, well, I know what I need to do. I'm off. Or, you know, I'm going to stop doing this or stop doing that. We have to live within that matrix, but we can live our own life within that matrix. We can say, okay, if I can't change, when we can't, we can't change the people around us. And I think a lot of the times that's what people try to do. They think, okay, well, I, I'm going to lose the weight. If, my husband, if I can get my husband to stop eating chocolates, I can lose the weight. You know, if my partner does this, I can lose the weight or I can create my body. We've got to understand that we can't change anyone else, but what we can change is ourselves. But then it comes back to that same word. What needs to change? And why haven't I changed so far? How badly do I want it is the other question. And the other question that Sandra asked tonight, and if you didn't watch it tonight, I, I apologise to you, but Sandra Grace was talking just a, a few minutes ago. And the question is, what do I want? What do I want? What do I really want? What do I need for me to be perfectly happy and well and, and fit and well? What do I need? What do I want? And we don't ask it enough. We ask everyone else, what do you want? How can I help you? What can I do for you? But we don't, and it, maybe it's just a cultural thing. We don't want to have to ask ourselves the question because we feel maybe well, we're just being selfish. When I run weight loss um, with a client, I ask them to write down their physical goals. And I give them a piece of paper, or they have their own paper from online, and I ask them to write down all the reasons to lose the weight, but they all must start with, I will or I can. So I'll be happier, I'll feel better, I'll be able to wear the clothes I want, you know, I'm gonna make love with the light on, you know, make love without passing out, write as many things down as you want, but it must start with, I will or I can. And I, I gave this piece of paper to a lady once and she said, well, it's all I, 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 I. She said, it, it, it seems so selfish, you know, just to focus on, on me and the things I want. And I said it to her because it's absolutely true. I said, if you focus on this now so you can have the body you want and the health you want, everyone else around you that you care about is going gonna, is gonna to benefit by it because you're going to live longer for one thing. You're going to be happier for another thing. And you're going to be healthier. And so your life's going to change. And in doing so, you're going to change the people around you. You can't say, OK, I'm going to wait until my husband makes the decision. I'm going to wait till my partner makes the decision. I'm going to wait till my girlfriend changes. That is of no consequence. You have to say, this is my body. As I said to you the other night, if you were listening to me, when we say, I would if only, I would lose the weight, I would create my body, I would be happier, if only. If that if only is outside of your own head, then all you are is a victim of circumstance. And I know you don't want to be. But if you're saying to yourself, well, I would change, I would make these changes, I would do that, if only. If that if only is outside of your own head, then all you are is a victim of circumstance. The moment we say, I am taking responsibility for my body, for my health, for my passion, for my life, my pleasure, my finances, then we can change it. And it's a difficult thing to do because we get caught up in this matrix that we call life. But we're not kids anymore. We're adults. Most of you, you know, uh, probably had a life, maybe you had your own kids. Some of you, had, like me, you've got grandchildren, even that not even kids anymore. They're adults. You might be in that situation. So why are we still living? We have to do things when, we're, when we've got young kids around us. We have to make decisions based on their protection. But for a lot of you now, that's not the situation. And you should start by saying, what about me? What about my life? What do I want? And that's not saying you should destroy the people around you or suddenly break everything in your, that's in your life. But I'm saying, how can I live within this, this matrix that I, I call my life, but still, as Sandra would say, live to my, my truth. You know, what's right for me? What makes me happy? What makes me feel good? How can I do that? And then find a way and then agree to yourself that you're going to make whatever changes you need to make to make that happen. 
So that's what we're going to be doing tonight. We're going to be working on helping you make that decision. At some point, I'm just going to lead you into a place where you're conscious, the limiting part of your being, the part that thinks it is you, is out of the way for a while. Your conscious mind thinks it's you. And yet it's the most limiting part of your being. Your conscious mind can only hold seven plus or minus two things at the same time. So if I put seven things on a tray and I ask you to remember them, then I added a couple, the chance that two of the ones you remember will drop out your memory. That's why we, that's why we remember our phone numbers in chunks. 0751-972-3106. Now you've got my number. But we remember it in little chunks. To try and remember all those numbers in one string, it's difficult. So we chunk down because our limited conscious mind cannot remember that much stuff. But while your conscious mind is wondering what dress you're going to wear or what shirt you're going to wear, your unconscious mind is taking care of your breathing. It's taking care of your heart rate, your body temperature. It's monitoring the environment for anything that might hurt you or, or kill you. And it's doing it 24-7. And it's doing it from the moment you draw breath, your first breath in life, to your last breath. And it never switches off. When you sleep, your conscious mind sleeps. But your unconscious mind is always awake. And it's always working to thriving. It wants you to thrive. It wants you to be happy. It truly does. And given the opportunity and direction, it will get you to where you want to be. But it does need a clear direction. It's no point saying, I want to, I want to my, lose some weight at some point in the future. That is not good. As Sandra said earlier, you know, it's got to be smart goals. You know, I would say at least these two things have to be in place. The goal has to be exciting and it has to be time bound. It has to be something that goes, yeah, that, I know I'm going to feel great when I do it, and I've got a time when I'm going to achieve it. Because your unconscious mind, if it has that direction, it will work for you to get it. And it never switches off. As I said, when you're asleep at night, your unconscious mind will hear that creak on the stairs that shouldn't be there. It's your unconscious mind that will smell, smell smoke in the, in the house, while your conscious mind is fast asleep and it will wake you up because it never sleeps. And if you like, your unconscious mind is like a vast warehouse of everything you've ever experienced in your life. You can imagine everything you've touched, everything you smell, everything you've heard, everything you've, you've experienced is in this vast warehouse. But when we go into our, with our conscious mind, it's like going into this vast warehouse with a, a single torch. And you're only aware of what the torch is shining on at that time. And so when you're looking to change your life consciously, it's a very limited view that you have. When you're in hypnosis, it's like the lights have gone in that warehouse and you can see everything that's in there and you know what you need to do to make the changes. And then it comes down to that one thing. What do I want? How badly do I want it? What am I willing to do to make that happen? How badly do I want to feel that good? And then understand that you're worth doing it for. What has to happen for you to love yourself enough to treat yourself to the body you want, the life you want, the pleasure you want? What has to happen? And you're going to ask that question tonight when we go into hypnosis. And then we're gonna, I'm going to address that part of you that runs that protective mechanism. I'm going to ask it to explain what it's doing for you and why you've had doubts about changing, why you haven't changed before now. And then I'm going to ask out of your creative mind and find other ways of keeping you safe and unprotected, but allowing you complete freedom from the irrational fear you've had about making those changes. I'm going to ask that question. When did I decide? that I couldn't change? How old was I? Where was I? Who was I with? Was it my decision? And you're going to recognize it was not you in the first place. It was someone else's opinion, probably. And you're going to delete it as those things come up. You're going to ask that question. When did I decide to have this experience? And does it suit me anymore? 
Is it still viable? Is it still, you know, even worth anything anymore now that I've changed? And I know, I know because I can see, I've seen you change over these last two weeks. And some of you, it's very, very clear. And I'm not going to mention any names, but Jack is one of them. And I can see these changes going on. And what, what changed? What changed a couple of weeks ago? What, when did you make that decision to eliminate that, those old decisions? When did you decide to have this, this new experience? Because once you make the decision, then, you, then your body and your mind and the universe will come together to help you get it. So we're going to ask those questions when you're in hypnosis tonight and you're going to think things are going to pop up and as they pop up. I just want you to think, OK, delete, delete. Imagine you've got you're on your computer and, you, you know, <laughs> let, me, let me let you into a secret here. My my Gmail account has got six thousand seven hundred. I can't even know what the numbers are. Emails in it. I, stuff that I thought, yeah, well, I'll, I'll look at that later. I never looked at it again. I should really go and go select all, delete. But I'm a hoarder when it comes to emails. I think yeah, maybe three years ago, I might have missed something. So I'm going to leave it on there. 6,700 and some odd emails on my Gmail account. So how, many, how much stuff do we kind of collect in our brain? We're never going to look at again. We're never going to use again. But it's just there clogging up space and slowing down the, bre- the computer that we have between our, our ears. So we're going to look at those things. And as we go through these next few weeks, we're doing this hypnosis together. Things are going to come up and some of you will feel emotional about things. But I want you to understand if you feel emotional, if something comes up, look at it, reevaluate it, reassess it, take any strengths from it and then delete it and just let go of the of the motion. So you can free yourself up to have that life you want. So now I've been talking enough. I think you've got the message. I want you to all get ready. When you're ready to go into hypnosis, when you're ready to make these changes for yourself, get yourself comfortable. Now, whatever happens next, no matter how relaxed your body becomes, and it will, the chair will support you. I do have clients sometimes, and they kind of disappear off the screen as they kind of and I, but I, you know, I can look, I'm looking at the top of their shoulder. But whatever happens, the chair will support you, okay? And once again, listen to me if you want. And your conscious mind will want to get in the way. It's that like, like monkey chat. What's he talking about? What's he talking about? Don't listen to that. No. <laughs> it will try and get in the way, but it won't be effective because it will be outside of that glass door. It will be watching, wanting to chip in, but it won't be effective. So you can listen to me if you want. I don't mean it rudely. I'm not interested in your conscious mind. Your unconscious mind knows exactly what you need to do to make the changes that you need to create the life, the body, the health, the happiness you want. And your unconscious mind will take from what I'm saying everything that you need to make those changes. And remember, it's only ever working for your thriving It will never do anything that's detrimental to you. It only ever wants you to thrive. It only ever wants you to be happy. That's what it's geared for. And that's what it will do, given the chance. So get into this with me. Get yourself comfortable. Place your feet on the ground if you can. If you're lying down, that does. But keep your feet separate. And keep your hands separate. Just lay your arms beside you. Put them on the arms of the chair. Rest them on your lap. And when you're ready to go into the most profound state of hypnosis. Take a deep breath in. I'm not going to ask you to focus on your breath. I just want you to focus on my words. And once again, we're going to do that wonderful induction that we did the other night, where I want you just to repeat in your mind everything I say, just for a while, okay? So I'm going to say some words then you're going to repeat them to yourself. I'm completely calm and relaxed. I'm completely calm and relaxed. 
I'm completely calm and relaxed. I'm completely calm and relaxed. My right arm is heavy and relaxed. My right arm is heavy and relaxed. My right arm is heavy and relaxed. I am completely calm and relaxed. My left arm is heavy and relaxed. My left arm is heavy and relaxed. My left arm is heavy and relaxed. I am completely calm and relaxed. My right leg is heavy and relaxed. My right leg is heavy and relaxed. My right leg is heavy and relaxed. My left leg is heavy and relaxed. My left leg is heavy and relaxed. My left leg is heavy and relaxed. I recognize the good within me. Thank you. I care about you. I want you to be well. I recognize the good within me. Thank you. I care about you. And I want you to be well. I am completely calm and relaxed. And now as you drift deeper and deeper into hypnosis, and you listen to my words, and you follow my voice down into that place of total bliss. Just for a while, nobody wants anything, no one expects anything. There is nothing for you to do but to enjoy that feeling. Imagine you're just dropping down through space and time. Your body is completely relaxed and calm. Imagine you're drifting deeper, deeper, deeper down. Every word I say is going to take you even deeper into that wonderful, profound state of hypnosis. Deeper, deeper, deeper down into that feeling. And imagine that's happening automatically. Imagine there's nothing you can do about that. The deeper you go, the better you feel. And the better you feel, the deeper you'll go. 10, 20, 100 times deeper now. Drifting down toward that place of total bliss. Nobody wants anything. No one expects anything. There is nothing for you to do but to relax. Nothing bothers or affects you. Nothing disturbs you. All that matters is you, the sound of my voice, and achieving and creating the body you want, the health you want, the happiness that you want. Because now you know where you're going. Now you know how good you're going to feel when you get there. It's not a force on this planet will keep you from achieving that goal. You're going to treat yourself to the nutrition that your body needs. You're going to treat yourself to the water that your body needs. You're going to find some fun ways of moving that will get your heart working. And from tonight, when you get into that bed and you feel the security of your bed and the comfort of your bed, and whenever you get into your bed with the intention of going into a deep sleep, 
you'll think about our time together and you repeat the word relax just four times in your mind. And before you hear that word for the fourth time, you will drift into the most profound, wonderful, deep, deep sleep. So awaken in the morning, refreshed and energized, having slept soundly throughout the night to allow your body to regenerate to allow any healing to take place, to allow those changes to take place in your body at a molecular cellular level. From tonight, whenever you get into bed with the intention of going into a wonderful sleep, to regenerate the cells in your body, you just repeat the word relax four times in your mind. And on the fourth time of hearing, you'll be in a deep, deep, sleep i'm going to repeat those words and as i repeat those words you're going to go even deeper into hypnosis i want you to enjoy every moment i know it's okay to feel that good to treat yourself to that healing energy relax 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 Relax. Feel yourself going deeper, deeper, deeper down into that feeling. Every word I say now, is going to take you even deeper. Everything I say now becomes your reality. Every suggestion I give you, your mind and body will act upon at a molecular, cellular, Neuron level, without hesitation, is now your reality. Because you have a conscious mind and an unconscious mind. And that unconscious mind, the back of the mind, can continue to hear, to understand and respond to those things I might say without the need for you to do anything at all. It's so much easier for the conscious mind simply to relax and enjoy that letting go. That's right. Letting go even of the effort it takes to make the effort that it might take. To tell the exact position of arms, legs or the entire body now that seems to drift through time and space. That wonderful free floating place and understanding there is no time, there is no space. As you drift in that wonderful place, my voice, my words gonna drift with you to become a part of your experience now. Every word I say takes you even deeper. And you can feel those changes taking place automatically without even thinking or trying. As you drift, deeper and deeper into hypnosis. And I can wonder whether you're aware that you've drifted deeply into trance. Because the deeper you go, the better you're gonna feel. The better you feel, the deeper you'll go. As you drift even deeper, you can use your unconscious mind as an incredible resource that you can learn from, that can serve you and all that's needed to build a good rapport with your unconscious is to have a line of communication. Sometimes the unconscious communicates by movement. Sometimes you just nod your head in answer to a question or you shake your head in answer to a question. You're not thinking about it, it just happens. Sometimes the unconscious communicates by movement. It may be that the eye reflex changes or your eyebrows lift to a question without thinking or trying just to express your answer. It may be that a muscle twitches involuntarily. That's right, you can try and keep your eyes still, funny flicker even more now. It may be that the left hand moves all by itself, starts to feel lighter and lighter. Your body might start to feel lighter and lighter. Your arm may begin to drift up as light as a feather or the right arm drifts even higher. Only the unconscious mind knows which it will use. 
And so as you drift deeply into hypnosis, even deeper than before, I'd like your unconscious mind once again, search for all the things in your life. Find one thing that is of vital and utmost importance to your ability to make the changes you want in your life. To allow yourself to do that for you. To love yourself enough to make the changes that are right for you. And when your unconscious mind has found those new understandings, something that is of vital and utmost importance to your happiness, your body, your mind, your future, something that will set you free to make the change you want. I want it to increase those signals. I don't know whether it's a left hand, the right hand, both hands that drift up or a muscle that twitches or the eyes flicker or the head moves or the body moves or the breathing changes, but you will know as the movement begins. Even as you become aware of certain sensations, you may even become aware of my energy transferring to you. You may become aware of that energy surrounding you, flooding your body, flooding your mind. And as the unconscious mind makes those changes, you now know how to go into a neutral state of emotion. The understanding that you can just click your fingers or even think about clicking your fingers and you go back to neutral. I want you for a moment just to access that feeling of neutral emotion and pull it into the very center of your being. Feel it there in the very center of your being, that feeling of neutral emotion. Now I want you to think about something, some negative thought that may have held you back. And I want you to imagine that negative thought. You can see it however you want to see it in your left hand. You can see the shape, you can see the color. Visualize it in your left hand, that negative thought that's been hanging on to you for a while. Now I want you to imagine that shape, that color, just running up your arm running into your body and then running through that neutral emotion. And notice how those changes take place as that negative thought goes through the center of your being, through that negative space of emotion. And notice as it comes through the other side, how it's being stripped of all that negativity. And I want you to imagine that shape now going down your right arm into your right palm and I want you to notice the color of it now. I want you to notice how the shapes change, how the colors change and notice how it lands in your right palm that's changed to a positive emotion, a positive feeling. And anytime you want to from today, whenever a negative thought pops up, a limiting belief, I want you to just sit quietly, get into neutral, Place that thought in your left hand and visualize it. See the shape, see the color, and then transfer it through the very center of your being, through neutral, and feel the changes take place as it drops into your your right hand and notice the change in the shape, the color, the size. And notice how all of the negative feelings have been stripped out of it on the way through. And as you become aware of that new understanding and new ability, as you go deeper and deeper, I'd like to ask your unconscious mind to hand those signals now to that part of you that is responsible for that protective mechanism that's been making you aware of things that could go wrong if you make changes in your life. And I want it to take hold of those signals and increase those signals so that you and I understand. I'd like to ask it to explain to you what it's been doing for you, why you've been held back for so long from making those changes, the decisions you made, when you made those decisions and recognize that they're no longer viable, they're obsolete. And as those understandings pop up, you now know how to delete them and seeing them bursting like bubbles as each one pops up and you delete it, delete it. Ask it to explain exactly what it's been trying to do for you. Now I want it to go to your creative mind and find new ways 
some new decisions that you make. And understand, you never don't, you, you don't have to stick with decisions because you're evolving every second, every minute of your life. But you can make a new, different decision now about where you want to be next. And each time a new decision occurs or a new understanding or a new choice, I want it to increase those signals. That's right, 10, 20, 1,000 new choices. Things that you can do that you've always wanted to do but you've been afraid to do. Things that you know are going to serve you, that make you happy, that make you feel great. Now I'd like to ask that part that runs that protective mechanism, pick as many of these new choices, take one or two of those new decisions, integrate it into your body and your mind at a molecular level. And when it's done that, I want it to increase those signals for you. That's right. And as that integration takes place in your body and your mind, let your mind run to a week from now or a year from now or six months from now or new years and just picture your body the way you want it to be. See it now. Notice the way you move and the way you breathe. Notice those changes, the decisions you made along the way that led to that feeling that allowed you to live within the matrix of your life, a part of and apart from everything else. Living your truth, loving yourself enough to allow yourself the happiness, the body, the life you want. See it clearly. Go and step into that body and feel what that feels like. Feel it now. Notice the way you move and the way you breathe and the way you feel. And look back to now and notice the changes that you allowed yourself to make. See it clear in your mind because now you know where you're going. And now you know how good you're going to feel when you get there. There is not a force on this planet that will keep you from achieving that goal. I'd like to thank that part that runs that protective mechanism for looking after you for all these years and allowing those changes to take place now. I know you're going to remember it thoroughly later on. Just feel those chains dropping away from you. Feel those shackles dropping away from you. Feel that lightness of being. Things that had seemed hard to do turn out to be surprisingly easy. As you continue to ask those questions, when did I decide? When did I make that decision? Who was I with? Where was I? How old was I? Was it even my decision? You may listen to some of those voices, those negative voices you used to have in your mind and recognize they're not even your voice. Or you can turn that voice down, you can turn it off. Replace it with my voice. Believe what I believe about you. Believe what I believe you can achieve. There are no limits. I want you to be happy and I want you to be well. I want you to achieve and I want you to be so happy. And now you know how to get there. And now you know you can. And now it's okay to want that for yourself. Think about it now. What do I want? What is your truth? Take this opportunity now to go with your unconscious as often as you need to, to know you can and you will create the body you want, the health you want, the life you want. Only when the unconscious mind knows has made those changes completely and integrated those changes into your body and your mind and allows the conscious mind to accept the changes made. So in a moment, I'm going to count to 10. Every suggestion I've given you, your mind and body will act upon without hesitation. It's now your reality. On eight, your eyes will open. 
you're going to feel incredible. You'll see things differently. You'll experience life differently. And on 10, that theme of empowerment, that new understanding is going to grow stronger day by day. As you create the body you want and the life you want, the health you want, the happiness you want. Because now you know what has to happen for you to love yourself enough to treat yourself to the life you want. I want something seen, it cannot be unseen. You can ignore it, but you'll never not see it. And you want that life and that happiness. And it is your right to have it. So get ready as I count to 10. On eight, your eyes will open. You're going to feel incredible. And on 10, that feeling of joy, that feeling of love, that you're going to aim at yourself and treat yourself to is going to grow stronger day by day. You're going to repeat those words to you when you look in the mirror in the morning. You're going to look at yourself and say those words. I recognize the good within you. Thank you. I care about you. I want you to be well. And you are going to aim those words at yourself because you are worth it. So get ready. One, feeling absolutely wonderful now. Two, to continue to create the life you want. Do it fearlessly. To make the changes you want and do it fearlessly. Three, a feeling of freedom from every limiting belief that was ever placed on you. Four, feel the force of the love and energy from everyone in this group. Feel it like that burning hot sun in the summer sky. Once again, shrink it down to a white hot nuclear ball of light as big as a golf ball. Pull that into your heart center. Feel it flooding out through your body. Five, feeling incredibly alive now. Six, seven, eight, eyes opening, feeling absolutely incredible. Nine, ten, a new understanding about your worth and your value. Treat yourself with the kindness you treat others. Want for yourself what you want for the people you care about. And now it's okay to want that for yourself. I hope you enjoyed the experience tonight. As I said, you know, for me, it's a joy that you're, that you're joining me on these evenings. Um, once again, if you've got anything you really want me to work on, then I'll do it. But I'm, I, I say it when I mean it, I'm proud of all of you because you're making the effort. You're turning up. You're, you're do, sit, going to these presentations. Some of you, even if, like, if you're like me, and you're not particularly fit or strong, you know, you're joining in with the, with the dancing and the kickboxing and the yoga stuff. You know, it's just about taking part. It's not about, you know, I doubt any of us are going to be kickboxers. Working with Jessica, you're gonna get you're gonna get stronger, and you're gonna get fitter. You know, I I'm so unbendy that I'm never gonna be a, a top yoga student, but I'm definitely more bendy than I was last Thursday because I did the yoga last week. Um, so we can just keep showing up and keep treating ourselves. You know, I, I'm seeing, as I said to you, I'm seeing changes in you, and I know you're feeling changes in you. We've just got to treat yourself to that with that kindness. Ask yourself the question every time you come across something that might have blocked you in the past. What has to happen? Which I think is a great, great question. What has to happen for me to love myself enough to treat myself to the life I want and the happiness I want? When something pops up, ask the question. I'm going to keep saying it to you. Ask the question. When did I make that decision? How old was I? Where was I? Who was I with? Was it even my decision? And is it viable anymore? Or is it an obsolete decision I made when I was a kid or a teenager or 10 years ago? And then delete it. And now you'll find 
the new decision. If you don't have one right there in front of you, it will come to you because your unconscious mind is only ever wanting you to thrive and it will do everything it needs to do to make it happen. So look, I'm going to say goodnight to you. Thanks for joining me. Now keep, I'm going to be doing these until there's no one out, no one else here but me to speak to. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to keep talking about, but I, you know, it's one of the things, my gift is to never shut up. So, uh, you know, if, there's, if I've got a talent, that is it. But so I'm going to keep doing these, keep finding new things to work on. I'm proud of all of you and I'm, I'm really pleased with all of you. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's keep working towards it. Let's create that body we want. See where how far we can push it. As we were talking about last night, you know, look at failure as our, our friend. That's what we should be working to because it's in that moment when we grow, when we change. And think about the changes you want to make and then make the change. Just say, I'm going to do it. Because now you're free of that irrational fear about changing. All right, okay, I'll see you all soon. Wherever you are, be happy, be well, and uh, I'll see you soon. All right, take care.